Well, my name is Grant Logston. I'm program coordinator and one of the three machine tool technology instructors at Elizabethtown Community and Technical College in the machine tool technology program. And I'd like to take just a little bit of time to share with you uh, a little bit about our program, what we do, uh, how we train our students, and some of the possible career opportunities that are available for these students. Many people are unaware of what a machinist or machine operator actually is. Uh, many people think that they are a mechanic, an auto mechanic, or a diesel mechanic, or an airline mechanic. But in fact, uh, a machinist is really a person, young or old, man or woman, who's able to operate any of the common conventional machine shop equipment, which includes drill presses, milling machines, lathes, and grinders. Uh, those are conventional machines where you have to turn levers to make them function. They have to be able to operate those as well as CNC, a, a machine that uh, produces the part through computer controls. Uh, the students will draw and manufacture the part through a CAD CAM software, uh, put the disc in the machine, tell the machine where the part is, where the tool is, and hit the start button and the machine does all the work. So in the past, uh, many machine operators were stuck operating one machine, but the way the technology is going, we can have one operator uh, operate actually three or four CNC machines. And that is technology at its finest right there. And nearly everything that we come into contact with in our daily lives uh, the shoes that you're wearing, there were machines to produce those shoes. Uh, the car that you drove in today, there was uh, a machinist, machine operator, producing the parts for that car. Uh, even the building that we're standing in right now, the heavy machinery that was used to make this building was produced, modified, created by machinists and machine operators. So pretty much we are involved in every aspect of your life though very little is known about us. When we look at the question of who makes a good machinist, it's usually somebody with strong computer skills, somebody with strong math skills, science skills. Uh, they don't mind getting just a little bit dirty, but the technology has changed quite a bit. Uh, machine shops years ago, uh, they were very dirty shops, and there would be one machine operator per machine, but the way technology is moving, these computer-controlled machines really need a controlled environment. They need 68 degrees, they need dust-free, and they're kept very clean. So uh, today's machinists can stay much cleaner than those years Some ago. of the places that our students gain employment are primarily smaller job shops in the area. A job shop is pretty much a company that will produce short-run jobs. Someone may have a gear break, a sprocket break, a pin break. And instead of sending all the way to China or another company to get that part made, which would possibly hold down production for weeks, uh, they'll have machinists make those parts on the spot. Some of our employees may get a job as a maintenance machinist to repair parts in a company. Uh, some may work in automotive machine shops where they'll work on engine blocks, they'll bore blocks, they'll deck a line hone, do things of that nature to rebuild an engine block. And then finally, we've even had students that will start their own machine shops. Wanda Runner was a, a former student uh, years ago. She is now co-owner of Runner Machine Shop in Bloomfield, Kentucky doing absolutely fabulous, making parts for the aircraft industry, and she is doing a wonderful job. It's been estimated that over the next five years, 40% of our workforce is going to be retiring. And the problem that we're having, we're not having enough students coming in to gain the skills to fill these positions. So that's why we're really struggling to get more students in to fill these positions. It's, it's almost weekly that we have companies call us. They're searching for pr prospective employees. They're looking for students. But nearly every one of our students are working within the first or second semester that they come into the program. 
So we really, really need more students in here to fill those positions. And there is a big plus for this. Whenever industry is struggling to find people for positions, that's normally a sign that the pay scale is going to go up. They'll have to pay to get those students. So that is a good thing for us. Uh, when we look at the salaries for uh, machinists in our area, in the Elizabethtown area, the Hardin County area, uh, the average starting pay is about $15.22, according to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Uh, and that's 2007 statistics. Uh, most will top out about $20.99 an hour. And as a matter of fact, we've had three students, which we're very proud of, uh, that have gone through our program. They had practically no machining experience, but they got on at a, one of the top-notch companies in Riverport uh, that only hire the best. But they got these positions based upon the training they received here and their particular skills. Their jobs will probably top out at over $25 an hour. So that's a big plus for our program. It says a lot about what we do and what we as teach. As far and as uh, what industry is looking for in education, most industry job shops, manufacturing firms, they're looking for students with at least a two-year degree or diploma. Most of our students at present are seeking a two-year CNC machinist diploma, which offers about 40, 42 to 48 credit hours of machining classes. Now, I need to explain that credit hours are slightly different than contact hours. A seven credit hour class will meet about 10 to 12 hours per week for 16 weeks. So when they are looking at about 16 uh, credit hour classes, maybe 18 credit hour classes, uh, that could be pretty much eight to about 12, 30 for four or five days a week. So that's pretty demanding, but we hold our standards high. We want our students to be the best. And industry wants our students to come out of here ready to read prints. Uh, blueprints are critical for our students. Uh, the student has to be able to read the print to make the part. They have to know the tolerances, the surface finishes, and that's extremely critical for the machinist. They also need to know how to measure the parts. Uh, if we can't measure a part, we can't make the part. So precision measurement is extremely important. Another aspect is the computer aspect, which includes the CAD CAM CNC software, which is where the student will use a computer. They'll draw and design the part that they're going to make, and then they'll take that disk after it's loaded, put it on the machine, tell the machine where the tools are at, where the part is at, hit the start button, wait about two hours and the finished product comes out with a tolerance of two or three tenths of a thousandth, which ex is extremely tight. Uh, they're also looking for uh, students who can operate conventional machines as well as CNC machines. And remember, CNC machines are those that are computer numerical controlled. That's where the computer operates the machine. That's the highest technology we have going today. The, some of the, um, the uh, curriculum that we offer here, our most popular curriculum is the CNC Machinist Diploma. It offers 48 hours of machining classes, about six hours of general education with math and elective, uh, and a computer class. With this, they can go right into industry, be prepared to move right into the machining field. Now we do offer an associate degree. It's kind of a general degree. It's called the General Occupational Technical Studies degree. It focuses in machine tool, but it offers a little bit less time in the machine shop, about 42 hours, 15 hours of general education courses, and a three hour computer class. But that is the degree we offer now. We also offer many certificates, uh, the exploratory machining certificate, the uh, Machine Shop 1 certificate, the Machine Shop 2 certificate, and those are primarily for industry workers who may need to come in, touch up certain skills, 
to gain certain skills in specific areas, they will receive certificates. In conclusion, uh, if you're looking for a good career, a lifelong career, a reputable career as a machinist, we have the education that will prepare you for that. Uh, in two years, you can be out on your own uh, working at a, a job shop, a manufacturing firm, making a good living for your family. You may want to consider attending Elizabethtown Community and Technical College. Our machine tool program will prepare you for everything you need for that lifelong career. Thank you for joining me on Ask Me About ECTC. And if you need further information, contact 270-706-8687. Thank you so much.